How do you achieve your greatness? There's no margin for error. No room for mistakes. You need total control. Your success is determined by your grit. It takes thousands of hours perfecting your moves. And only the strong survive. You think you've paid your dues? You think you're ready to enter the arena? Think again. This is the Telcom Digital Gaming League. This is where legends fight till the last second. Where the action explodes straight through your system. Ladies and gentlemen, and once again, myself and Demonic are presenting to you another Amber Showdown semi-final game between OK Danger Kids and Elastis Fantastis. Demonic, so far two for two in terms of casting. I think uh, things are looking up in terms of our casting career. I was about to say two days in a row. I think if we're <laughs> trying to make it rain in Cape Town, this is the way that we're going to do it by <laughs> continuously casting Rocket League because uh, it's not something that we tend to do that often. But, you know, here we are two days in a row and... What a what a game we've got on our hands. We've got Elastis Fantastis fresh off the back of they were at least in the final of the of the Amber Showdown. Exactly. And uh, so not doing too bad. And then of of course we've got Danger Kids who Mother was doing superb work yesterday, so I'm expecting them to do similar work today as we see the teams are finally getting getting ready to go here. Yeah, so just quickly, Elastis Fantastis have got Gingerbread, Cool Guy, and Luke the Fisher. And then Danger Kids have got I don't know, which I'm assuming is lazy, Perry and Mother. I mean, this if if Mother plays anything like he did last night, I feel that Elastis Fantastis are going to be in for huge amounts of trouble, especially if Lazy plays like he did in the midfield. And we already see Mother going up already, pushing so much pressure into Elastis Fantastis' face. But we see Luke the Fisher there has already picked up the boost, starving Lazy and everybody of, of boost. And again, this is one thing that, um, that uh, last night... Um, the Dominus Venente side wasn't able to do. They weren't apply. They weren't able to apply so much pressure and play in the second half of the field. They're always playing in their own mm -hmm. half. So hopefully, if Elastis Fantastis are able to do that tonight, we're going to be able to see a huge change in in this and maybe put some pressure onto OK. I mean, they've got two teams that are currently in the semis, and if if both teams win, we're going to be seeing a full online kingdoms final, and we oh, see mother. Dangerous. Oh, it's incredibly dangerous. They're still fighting for it. I mean, oh. But the pressure coming out here, but unfortunately, Lucas Fisher does manage to get to it. But again, Danger oh. Kids are there. Mother tries to get the aerial shot, but unfortunately, just pushing it wide, Ginger Kids is going to put a little pre pressure on for the moment. Luke the Fisher tries, needs to get there, but unfortunately, Lazy is there. Having to change his name a little bit today. I don't know. What is this? I don't know how Lazy <laughs> just. I think Lazy's just I'm maybe trying to, to uh, put some pressure onto us and maybe just trying to change things up a little bit. But here we go. Here we see a nice real counter-attack here by Elastis Fantastis. Cool guy not able to actually get anything really going there. But he actually is able to keep it into the corner there. But Lazy Buddy's just going to be able to clear it upfield. Pushing it up into midfield. Going to continue putting it up. But again, Mother's not there. Is his, is his Mother up in the area? Oh, oh. is he? Unfortunately, oh, Luke the Fisher was right there to stop it. And oh my word, what happened there? One berry with a cheeky little <laughs> snorter coming out of the corner here. A little bit of a just cool stuff. guy. Cool guy just seemed to be a little Hopping bit lost in there. Cool Bottom right Kiss hand corner. Right post, Beautiful. Beautiful little goal there by one berry. You're not going to take it away from him. But it just seemed like cool guy was just a little bit lost there in the, uh, the goals. We see Gingerbread putting it right into the corner there, but Lazy Buddy is able to actually just clear it out. And again, Luke the Fisher, again, just keeping the pressure there, just making sure that the ball is always inside their half. And, oh, here we go. We're going to see a little bit of a clear here, but Gingerbread, oh my word, Perry's actually got it there. It's a beautiful little center, and we do see that Lazy Buddy was going up for it. But Luke the Fisher, able to just keep it clear, helping, you know, just nudging Lazy Butt in the air, not actually able to complete that aerial the way that he would have liked to. Yeah, I'd love Elastis to just be milliseconds faster in their movements at the moment. I feel like if they, yeah, we all, as you can see, like, okay, the danger kids are just able to get a little bit of advantage. Oh, one Perry tries to go for the shot. Cool guy is there. Mother tries to follow it up, but cool guy might get a chance to put some pressure on. Yeah, it's fortunately lazy. Is there? That is not a bad shot, actually. Luke the Fisher does manage to get a touch to it, get a, gets a secondary, but isn't going to be able to follow it up. One Perry senses it for his team. Mother is there, but. 
doesn't have any sort of forward momentum to actually do anything with that. Cool guy is going to be able to get a pretty nice center going here. Does have a follow-up shot, but Lazy is there to at least clear it for now. But this is the kind of pressure that we're looking to see as Gingerbread once again keeps it in the half. One, okay, Perry, just going to have to do his shot. But that is a pretty good, another pretty good shot coming out there. Oh, Mother is no, surely not. But he, <laughs> Mother so close. It was such a great shot there, but really well played here so far by Elastis Fantastis. Say what you want, but at the moment, they're playing incredibly well. They're here applying the pressure. They're making sure that if the ball is in their half, the first thing they're doing is they're just making sure it's in the corner so that Danger Kids don't really have an opportunity to try and get a really good center in. And what they're also trying to do is every time they do actually have possession, they're keeping it in Danger Kids half. And there we see a fantastic little cheeky touch there by Gingerbread. He goes up for it, keeps it into the corner. But I think this is just going to be easily cleared here by Lazy, but putting it right in the center of the field. And he's going to continue with it. What's going to happen? Oh, my word. He dribbles past. Fantastic little touch into the bottom left-hand corner. Lazy, but just an amazing little touch there. If we have a look at this again, I mean, just the gentlest of touches. And Gingerbread just wasn't able to actually get to there. And so far, 2-0 to Danger Kids. Yeah, and showing showing the form and why they're one of the formidable sides here in the DGL. And... Uh, Unfortunately for Elastis Fantastis, two of them going for the ball at the same time proved to be a terrible error. But this is pretty good pressure coming out here. Gingerbread might be able to get another touch, and he sort of does, beating those two defenders. But unfortunately, you know, the rest of his team is not there to follow up with the with the middle touch for now, so they at least come back for the meantime. That's a pretty good touch coming off top, top, top post Tina, but no follow-up again from Elastis Fantastis. Luke the Fisher just sitting quite far back at the moment. Playing on that defensive, they don't want any more goals scored against them. Okay, Perry gets a pretty good middle touch here. Gingerbread manages to clear it out for the meantime. Does get a pretty good secondary touch on it. So he's going to get into that corner. Mother bounces it out into the middle. That's okay. Perry just continuing to bounce it out to the other side, knowing that that's a pretty good aerial for the opposing side if they happen to touch it first. Gingerbread just doing what he can, flying in the air. He's now on the wrong side of the field. And cool guy, cool guy there's an open the goal there, and this might be it. 15 seconds left. At the Elastis Fantastic being able to bring it back. Cool guy and Gingerbread with an amazing little bit of a play here. Gingerbread, you know, Elastis, or Cool Guy, centering it upfield. Gingerbread, open goal, being able to slot it in. Very easy goal for him. 2-1 to Danger Kids. The game is still on for this best of five. Will we see overtime in the first game? Uh, I mean, surely not. Oh, they might not, unless Cool Guy does something cheeky here. No, unfortunately. Lazy is actually oh. going to score. Oh, sealed into the kiss. Top post, Tina just flirting her skirt and... Not actually allowing Lazy to score that goal. Cool guy does manage to get the touch, and uh, they are trying to score a last goal here. Are oh, the Danger Kids, Aww. but is finally going to get the touch. So Danger Kids do get the first game win here. But to last is fantastic. It looks like they're beginning to warm up here and show some form in the final seconds of this game. So heading into game two, looks like we've got a game on our hands here, Pingy. Most definitely, we really do have a best of five here on our hands. I mean, if your lusties are able to continue playing like they did there in that first half, I honestly feel the Danger Kids are going to be in a little bit of trouble. I mean, we have Cool Guy and Ginger Bear that are being absolutely formidable up in the front with the, with the midfield players and everything. So I really feel that this could go either way at the moment. I mean, Luke the Fisher has been performing really well when he's back in the goals and all of that. So I honestly feel that Danger Kid may actually be in a little bit of trouble if they can continue to play like this. But let's get straight into the second game of this best of five. One Perry, once again... Beginning the offensive, coming onto the other side of the field. Does get a nice aerial touch, beats Gingerbread, in the, and Mother is going to be there to seal it <laughs> with a kiss My in apologies. the opening seconds of this game. 11 seconds in, and Danger Kids are ready to go 1 0 up. I mean, this is starting to look very familiar to the third game that we had pre last night when, when Danger Kids went up 1 0 within the first second, and they scored the second goal within another 20 seconds of that. I mean, this is definitely not the, the, the greatest start here for Elastis Fantastis, but I mean, there's still four and a half minutes left Ooh. of amazing Rocket League. And we can see that one Perry is actually doing really well with clearing. And he actually dribbles past Cool Guy and puts it into the back of the net. Fantastic little ball control there that he had, yeah. Took so much restraint oh. and just able to dribble it past Cool Guy, unable to read it. And easy, put back into the goals there. One Perry, amazing set of... Car skills? Foot skills? Don't really know what you would want to say. But yeah, those, little, those, kids. Little, those little soft shuffle shoes doing work <laughs> there for one Perry. As we see Mother with a beautiful set that tries to follow it up. But unfortunately, doesn't get quite the right angle. We are going to see Lazy trying to give it some sort of center. 
Perry does have an angle. We saw that he's pretty good with those angles yesterday, as a cool guy does manage to now like, at least get it on the fence for Lusty's Fantastic's Gingerbread. Does get a pretty good center touch here, and it's going to fly past, but unfortunately there's no one there on the other side. There's no one Cool guy. It. Just unfortunately, not, not, not there in the position that he would have liked to have been. Yeah. Um, it was really an opportunity there, but again, still, there's still so much time left here on this clock. There are four minutes. Anything can still happen here. We see Mother a little bit of freestyle there with the aerials, but <laughs> nevertheless, I mean, I, I don't know that we had a little bit of Kronovia and everybody playing in the South African leagues, but here we go. We do see Lazy Butcher with an amazing little bit of pressure here. The sensor is just a little bit wide. One period is going to put it back into the center, but Gingerbread is just going to dump it up here. Open goal. Brilliant long shot there. Cool guy picking up the goal there. 2-1 to Danger Kid still, but I mean, if you're going to give opportunities like that to Cool Guy or Luke the Fish or Gingerbread, they're going to capitalize of it, on it. 2-1, and it looks like Elastis Fantastis are putting themselves right back into this. Yeah, I suppose that's one of the things about, uh, okay, Danger Kids is that they do have all three of them regularly on the offensive, which leaves a, an open goal. They are very, very good at reacting to getting to their goal, but sometimes, you know, you get the opportunity. This is a top post Tina into a one Perry goal for Danger Kids. And this, just when we were talking about pressure and all of them being on the offensive, there we go. Lazy but top post Tina flashing a skirt, just bringing it straight back out in one Perry, getting up early. And Elastis Fantastic is not able to do anything. 3 1, three and a half minutes left of this Rocket League second best, second game of the best of five. I mean, Danger Kids just strike when you when you least expect them with these unexpected goals that they had, and they tend to happen quite a lot. Penguin, with <laughs> they, they really are. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's if it's completely just planned or if it's just maybe literally a case of that that. <laughs> Like, I don't even know, really. It, it just it just flabbergasts me how they're able to actually pull off all of these kind of things all the time, consistently. And it's not like every now and again. I think we see it at least once or twice every game. And one pair is an amazing oh, little no. touch there. And a easy little sister by Lazy, but look at him going up the wall, nudging it into the center there. And unfortunately, Gingerbread just not able to get up. And in a way to actually block it, and one period going to pick up another goal. I mean, if we have a look at how, what the goals are sitting at and how each team is performing here, I mean, things are looking pretty tight. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, one to four. Oh. Our mother just styling. What is he even doing up there? Just sitting very aggressive inside the other, the opposing half. And one Perry with a beautiful pass here. Mother one just ready to... One Perry on form with a hat-trick mother, two goals, two assists for Perry as well for mother's goals. So, I mean, Lazy but maybe not performing. I think One Perry has maybe taken over his role there in the in the, in the the center field, being the playmaker in this game. But again, look maybe, at the amount of pressure the Danger Kids are putting in. Uh, coffee has finally kicked in, Penguin, because they are just suddenly <laughs> turning on the gas here. Okay, does finally get a shot. One Perry manages to save for the meantime. Has left an open goal, Gingerbread. Is going to keep it and try to get it into that bid, trying to do a little bit of a... A replay of what we just saw and one mother says no that's fine we'll go on the offensive this time cool guy does minute <laughs> does actually miss the gingerbread gets a sort of a feeble clear for the meantime but that's oh. gonna set it up for lazy but oh right post regime strikes just uh flirting it off her skirt and sending it on her way and one perry unfortunately not able to get the goal in that case lazy is there to pop a defense keep it out gingerbread is doing good work here in the middle that is a pretty dangerous middle if uh Lazy didn't get to it first, but one Perry is going to be able to get a good center here. Pops it up for his team. Is Mother there to finish it? No, he's a little bit slow. Does pick up that boost, so perhaps next time if they are... Uh, oh, lazy. Lazy. Beautiful little oh. center. One Perry with a pop into top post. Tina Gingerbread does manage to get a touch. Cool guy gets the clear, but Lazy is here as double back to him for defense. Gingerbread once again on the offensive, doing good work here in the midfield. Does get a nice, nice center here, but Mother just... Popping it a little bit higher to stop the offensive in the meantime and get, get that ball going in the right direction. We are going to see Elastis Fantastis just trying to put on the pressure here, but struggling so much, Penguin. They really are struggling. I mean, the pressure's there. They're playing so well. But it just seems like Danger Kids is putting so much pressure. They're just playing so fantastically well, all three of them. It's basically as if they're just one mind knowing exactly what needs to happen. I'm actually starting to suspect they've got a little bit of AI assisting them with regards to all of this. Because, I mean, look, even on the defensive, one Perry's always back. Or at least then 
Mother's there to come and clear it. Both players going, unfortunately, out for that. And it just That's goes dangerous. over cool guy. And one period going to pick up the playmaker. And Mother's going to pick up a fantastic little aerial goal here. Off the wall, nudging it. Fantastic. Just over, I don't know. They're playing so well. Danger kids. And like we said, they're one of the most formidable sides in this Amber Showdown at the moment. And they're proving us... You know, they're proving it why. 6-1, 40 seconds left of the game. I don't know if um, if Elastis Fantastic are able to bring this back. I mean, I think they pretty much are, should be talking about what, what they can do in the next game to, to get things going. Gingerbread is doing good work in the midfield, but generally he doesn't have anyone else. Perhaps Cool, cool Guy needs to get himself a bit further forward so he's able to actually capitalize on Gingerbread's work that, that he's doing in the midfield. Because unfortunately, almost every time... Okay, as we oh mother doesn't actually manage to get a touch in there, so mother, regular but. mother had the boost and was hoping just to get another little touch to nudge it in, but I think honestly with this game over with, I think that Elastic Fantastic needs to consider think back that you know what it's not impossible for us to bring back excuse me three games in a row, it's just a case of what are they doing wrong? They're not doing a lot wrong. Danger Kids are just playing yeah. that well at the moment. I mean, here we yeah, go. Have a look at the statistics there. One period with three goals. Mother with three goals again. I mean, you know, Lazy but picking up two assists. One period with three assists. You know, two saves apiece there. Each player, I mean, look at that. They had, th you know, eight, five, 13 shots on goal. My math seemed to have failed me there for a second. But 13 shots on goal to Elastis' four and only actually converting one. It just shows the huge difference there. 13 converting six is that whole thing that if you have possession, you really just need to be there and capitalize on the opportunities that are being presented to you. So it comes down to, will Elastis Fantastis be able to reverse sweep this 2-0 advantage that Danger Kids have at the moment and actually bring it back to a 3-2 victory? Uh, well, we're going to see now, heading into game three, now that I've remembered to hit that ready key, because that's just <laughs> something that I never bothered to do. I'm thinking you need a little bit of the coffee that Danger Kids seem to be having at the moment. Huh? They seem to be so awake and so lively and so vibrant at the moment. And if hopefully that, you know, we're hoping that Elastis Fantastis are able to actually get that same brand of coffee and able to kick things in. I think they're just going to be restarting the game because the player was unable to actually join. So we are just going to go straight out of this. We're going to be waiting for them to get back into it. It looked like um, Cool Guy wasn't able to actually join there in the end, but we'll see shortly. Must I leave this lobby? Yeah, you're going to have to leave that lobby. I'm just going to see if the players are going to be giving us... Okay, we do see... Okay, Mother has said that the lobby is up again. There we go. Everything seems to be up and running. We're just going to wait for the players to join. And hopefully each body, everybody is actually able to bring this in. There we go. Gingerbread seems to be coming in. Cool guy. Everybody seems to be joining. So hopefully everybody's here again. And hopefully we're able to get into some good Rocket League. There we go. We're able to jump into the Spectate now. And this is for the third game of the Best of Five for the Amber Cup semi-final. Let's see what's actually able to happen here. Lazy by getting the first touch. But it's really deep into their half. Mother's able to clear it though. Back into the deep part of Elastic Fantastic's side. And we're going to see Perry here with an amazing little touch there. Unfortunately, not able to actually get a real good scent off of it. Cool guy just going to continuously nudge it, just putting it onto the other side of the field. And again, Demonic, what do you feel is going to actually happen here? Do you feel that Elastis Fantastis are going to be able to bring this game back and actually bring us more Rocket League, whether it's a 3 1, 3 2, and if they play and get goals like that by Gingerbread, this is definitely possible. Look at this amazing play here by him. Yeah, I mean, as I said, Gingerbread was doing good work in the midfield in that previous game, and this time showing that he actually sometimes doesn't need help to, to finish those goals with a beautiful little nudge just slicing it into that left corner. As I do manage to get an initial touch. This might be quite dangerous. They do get Elastis Fantastis to manage to get it on the offensive in the meantime, but Lazy is there to pick it up. A beautiful little center is going to be a quite dangerous. Cool guy does manage to get the initial touch. One Perry is going up trying to get that secondary, but... Luke the Fisher managed to get up there as well and save it up wide. Ginger on the walls trying to do what he can. Cool guy manages to get a punch here, keeping it off Lazy. Managed to beat Mother as well. So this might be the offensive that they need, but Lazy comes back and manages to get the secondary touch that they need just to stop it and buy themselves some time. And now this is going to be okay. Danger Kids on the offensive. Luke the Fisher doesn't manage to pick up that boost, so... 
Yeah, I a mean, little bit pressured. Yeah. The the one thing I do like about Elastis Fantasi is that when they're in Danger Kids' half, they start draining them of every single little boost as possible. Gingerbread. <laughs> Gingerbread with a little fantastic little fedora that he has on top of his car able to pick up a fantastic goal, taking advantage of the mistakes there, not actually able to really clear it there by by, by Lazy, and in the end, capitalizing their mistakes, 2-0 in the favor of Elastis Fantastis. And as you said, there's potentially more Rocket League ahead of us. That reverse sweep is highly potential. It's It's got the potential of actually showing its face here. Yeah, and uh, that's what I said. Uh, Gingerbread just doing... Doing some good work here yeah, and see, stealing those goals that uh, Lastis Fantastis actually need, and that's, and that's. I mean, sitting two 0 up, three minutes twenty on the clock. Now you can just sit and try and play a defensive game. Uh, if I mean, not that you, not that you want to, but you know, it's not, it's not too bad. Uh, or cool guy might have a good opportunity here. Yeah, there's no one here. Mother does manage to at least push it to the side in the meantime. Gingerbread is there, but doesn't get a touch. <sighs> Luke the Fisher almost manages to beat one Perry, but now I'm lazy. Oh, cool, cool guy. guy with an amazing savior. He's basically the guardian angel there for those posts. Picking up the fantastic save there, but it has not left at all. Lazy with a more pressure being applied into there, and it is going to go back into the center field, but Perry does actually clear it up. Is there somebody that's going to be capitalized? One Perry just sending it a little bit to the left of the goat post there. But again, lazy. Again, with all this pressure that Danger Kids are applying, as one person's taking a shot and off the rebound, somebody else is there to capitalize on it, and it's so close to one period, not able to actually get the next touch. We're going to see this cool guy going it up onto the right-hand side of the field here, unable to actually get anything over going there because lazy, but pulling off amazing little defensive plays there in the goals. I really wish they actually had a statistic for the amount of tackles of some sort here, but we're going to see Gingerbread's going to be able to clear it, and there's going to be an amazing touch there by Lazy. Unfortunately, still not able to actually get a goal. Gingerbread's going to be sending this upfield, and, you know, Lazy's just going to be putting into the corner. And again, 2-0 still to Elastis Fantastis. Two minutes left on the clock. Demonic, how do you feel this game is going to be going? I mean, okay, I just... The danger kids are not getting the shots that they really want to, and the shots that are that are there are getting are getting saved. So I mean, good, good, good pressure oh. all around from danger kids. But I have spoken <laughs> to Steven Penguin as usual. As one Perry decides to bounce it off the wall, get up into the air, manages to beat Cool Guy, and with just a touch on that right post regime, Cool puts Guy it just in not, and two not sitting. One. Cool guy, not sitting perfectly parallel to the goal line, and unfortunately had to waste a few little, like a meter or so, actually adjusting everything. We're going to see one period going up for the air, but unfortunately nothing coming off it. But I mean, again, cool guy, just unfortunately sitting just at not the greatest angle to actually defend that. I mean, very close, but unfortunately still no cigar in the end. One Perry able to capitalize on that. So 2-1, Danger Kids have brought this a little bit, have brought this back. But Elastis is fantastic, showing why they are also capable and completely willing, to, especially with a goal like that. An amazing little center to the left of the post. Luke Fisher, Luke the Fisher, just able to get an amazing little touch onto that. And unfortunately, he's just not able to stop it. Mother not going in to assist. And 3-1. I'm actually going to. I I actually feel confident enough to say that this game is over. We're going to be seeing a fourth game. Oh, penguins! <laughs> Those are fighting words, my friend. We've seen we've seen crazier things happen in Rocket League, and we are talking about Danger Kids here, who, as we spoke about earlier, can just slice in the goal or two when you least expect it. Uh, but we are going to see them going on the offensive, lazy pushing it upfield, but it's going to be cleared by Elastis Fantastic in the meantime, Mother coming back to do a little bit of work himself doesn't get a pretty good touch off the top and gets the secondary doesn't manage to beat cool guy and then so they aren't going to be able to react lazy pushing it just a little bit too hard <gasps> or is it not mother. too hard it's mother comes mother. in making it 3-2 41 seconds left on the clock have you spoken too soon penguin <laughs> Is the Caster's Curse actually coming about you? Mother with an amazing flight there. Able to get up nice and early. Picking up that. Putting it into the top left-hand corner. And 3-2 still in the favor of Elastis Fantastis. But I mean, with 36 seconds left on the clock, anything can still happen. Has Penguin spoken too soon? Or are we going to be seeing a fourth game in this best of five? Luke the Fisher does have some pressure. That was all of the side <laughs> of, uh, of, of Danger Kids that were putting... In that corner and he says well i'll take that and uh we'll see you later managing the secondary touch and 
sealing it with a, a little kiss of kiss from his bonnet, and that's four to 24 seconds left on the clock. Has Do we have a game four? We, I am again, like I'm calling it, we have definitely got a game four going on here. And again, it's really deep into Danger Kids with one Perry with an amazing little clear there, though. Mother's going to be able to put it to the side, and I do believe that Perry's going to actually go for this. He's pushing it straight up field, but with 10 seconds left to try and get two goals, I honestly feel that we're going to be seeing a fourth game. And if the Rocket League continues like this, I cannot wait to see these two teams back and going back into the, into the fourth game. If Illustis Fantastis continue to play like that, I honestly feel that there's potentially a fifth game. If they win this, it's really going to come down to the final showdown. And, you know, I'm just really, really excited. I mean, we, we were seeing Mother and Perry are playing so well up front. You know, Lazy's playing a little bit more of a defensive role tonight, staying a little bit more back in their own third, sitting in the goals. But still, on the counter-attack, he is there to support. He's getting the assists. But, I mean, we can't take anything away from Cool Guy and Gingerbread. They've been playing so well in the mid midfield and up front. Yeah. And we've got Luke, who's been playing like... He's actually like a ninja goalkeeper for them at the moment. Demonic, I feel that... Oh, wait, you are spectating. There we go. The game's about to start. This is for the fourth game of the best of five. Current score 2-1 to Danger Kids. This is going to be an amazing game. Oh, Luke getting a little bit aggressive, just blowing up Mother, telling him, go back to the showers, retry again, brother. Yeah, a little bit of BM there coming out just to start off game fours. Okay, one Perry now tries to get that aerial to see it into the goal, but Mother, at least denying boost for the meantime, Gingerbread's going to do what he can to clear it out, and that's going to be a cool guy pushing it into the midfield. We're going to see it bounce off the side wall and... Once again, Oak Danger Kids are going to be upset that they've lost that last game, and I'm pretty sure that they want to seal this out in a in a three-one fashion. But we're going to see Velasquez Fantastis, who are doing pretty good work oh. here. That's some good work. But Luke the Fisher doesn't have anyone else to help him out there. Gingerbread coming a little bit too late is going to at least get that deny that boost from the side of Danger Kids for the meantime. Is a little bit too far forward to be able to do anything useful with that. Uh, that ball so that's going to let mother at least take it on the offensive we're going to see a beautiful mid come out here but gingerbread is there beautiful work coming out of him just pop it up and keep it out of that post so they don't have the chance to actually take that shot luke the fisher at least manages to beat one of them now but unfortunately lazy is there to get the touch gingerbread coming forward one oh, period one period is, this is a pretty dangerous oh. shot actually cool guy going up pretty high to intercept it but that's left the goals open and Lazy says, well, if your goals are open, I'll just slot it in if you don't mind. Look at that ball. The shot by Perry, the way that he actually got the angle on that ball of the initial hit, actually started making that ball dip so much. But unfortunately, with Cool Guy being the only person back, it just left the goals open there for Lazy. And he was like, you know what? If it's going to be open bar tonight, I'm definitely going to get my drinks worth. Slots it in. Make sure he gets his beverage. 1-0 to Danger Kids. And, you know, there's still a lot of Rocket League to be played out. But let's just see what able what what Elasti is able to do there. Unfortunately, Gingerbread is not a, there in time to capitalize onto that open goal. It's, uh, it's just those those milliseconds that I was talking about in game one in Penguin. You know, if they're just milliseconds ahead of of where he was, he he would have been able to score a goal right there. But Luke Fisher is going to be able to get a good one here. Lazy is sitting in that midfield. Does manage to get a patch of one Perry is going up. Did a little bit of flaring aerial to get himself. Onto the side of Elastis Fantastis and oh. actually bouncing off each other. I'm not sure that's exactly what's planned, but Lazy has said, fine, I'll give it to you in the mid again. And oh, unfortunately, oh, that oh. open goal, Mother, is going to have at least to bounce it out for the side of the meantime. But Gingerbread, oh no, Luke Ooh. the Fisher just gets blown up. Lazy just quite done with that, and now he's on a little bit of a dribble himself. Is going to jump off that wall, pop it into the mid. Mother, most likely going to be waiting here. Actually, in fact, it's one Perry in this instance. Mother sitting at the back, cool guy, does actually manage to push it forward, a secondary touch, gives it that momentum, and that's a dangerous bounce, cool guy. One Perry does manage to actually get the intercept there, so Mother is going to be able to push it forward here. Once again on the offensive, it's just Gingerbread here, in the meantime, cool guy finally back, coming back to those goals, but oh. Gingerbread just doing what he can, one Perry, no, beats the defender. It felt so like there was just a little bit of miscommunication there by Gingerbread and Cool Guy. One thing, I don't think that Gingerbread actually warned Cool Guy that he was going to be going for the backflip yeah. to get the little bit of a bicycle. And unfortunately, by doing that, conceding the goal, 
2-0 to Danger Kids. Still two minutes left, though. There's still plenty of Rocket League to be played, and we could still potentially see the fifth game. But let's just see what 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 Elastis Fantastis are able to do here. The eye, you know, we do see that Lazy is going up, Mother pushing it straight up, and Perry is there hovering in midfield, waiting to capitalize on a mistake there. Yeah, and uh, Luke the Fisher managed to get a touch here, and hopefully going to get a secondary. It's a pretty good aerial gingerbread. Unfortunately, he decides not to go for it. Luke the Fisher is uh, maybe a little bit disappointed with his teammates' lack of aggression with gingerbread. Now oh, comes with a cheeky oh, aerial. Oh, oh, this oh. is flaring all over, but. Amazing little bit of a flare there, but gingerbread. But unfortunately, Mother says, you know what, you can flare, but I'm still definitely going to be stopping that. Pulls out an ama amazing Buffon save there. And one Piri, just off the inside thigh of right post Regina, able to put it in. 3 0. And things are not looking so great here for Elastis Fantastis. Cool guy, unfortunately, not able to get there in time to actually get it out of there. So, I don't know how this fight, this game is going. It's still a little bit too close to call. Minute 20, we're going to definitely need to see a goal here by Elastis Fantastis sooner rather than later. Yeah, I mean, they've got three goals, so they need to do 20 seconds per goal here, but the defensive work from Danger Kids has been pretty good today, except for a couple of mistakes in that uh, in that second game. Luke the Fisher now has to get himself in the back. Cool guy sitting by himself in the goals, unfortunately. Is able to at least put enough pressure to put it outside. Mother I mean, oh, tries to come in for the cheeky aerial, but doesn't get it. One well, Perry like able cool there to least. capitalize yeah. on the long ball there by Cool Guy. And here we go. You're going to see a little ball just off the top post. Cena there. And Mother's there to capitalize, putting it straight back into the center. Is there somebody going to be able to stop there? Gingerbread putting it to the right there, pushing it straight up field. Let's see if we're actually able to capitalize on this. 30 seconds left. It's calling it really, really tight here. But. If if Danger Kid's defense continues like it is, we're going to actually end up seeing this is the end of the road here for Elastis Fantastis. Mother! That is an absolutely disgusting aerial by Mother. Look at this again. Going straight up. Absolutely just getting a fantastic touch. Putting it straight down into the center of the goal there. Nothing that Elastis Fantastic could do. 4-0. And I actually feel that this may be the end of the road for Elastis Fantastis. Yeah, Elastis Fantastis have put in some good work today, at least giving us that that fourth game. But unfortunately here, I think OK Danger Kids have once again shown that they are one of the teams to beat here in the Rocket League uh, Amber Showdown as we one second left and unfortunately not able to get it up in time. So Elastis Fantastis, superb effort from them here today. Uh, Gingerbread, I would probably say, is one of my MVPs for, the, for this entire series. I think he did Really good work for the side of Elastis Fantastis today, but unfortunately, not being able to seal up that that mid game just turned out to be, you know, putting into the midfield and they had some beautiful centers, but unfortunately, not being able to seal those centers is uh, what made a huge difference here. And uh, if they just a little bit faster, Penguin, if they were just a little bit faster, we exactly. might have gone to a game five. Exactly as you said, if they were just, it was literally just microseconds, milliseconds between whether they would be up at the ball first or not. So potentially just own reactions, whatever the case may be. If we're just able to capitalize on that, I honestly don't feel that the scoreline here reflects how close that final game was. And it, it, it honestly does, as I just said, it doesn't reflect how close the score line, you know, the score line doesn't reflect how close the game was. But still, really well played there by Elastis Fantastis. Cannot take anything away from them. I mean, we had Cool Guy playing so well, whether he was in the goals, solo defending, making sure that he kept that ball out. Maybe not getting the amazing touch like he would have liked, straight on the nose of the car to send it as far as possible. Um, but still, defending so well we had gingerbread playing in the midfield and he played absolutely fantastically um there as well as up front and you know jake the fisher 
was also right, whether he was defending or in the midfield, we didn't really get to see him up and attacking as much as we would have liked. But still, whether he was defending or pushing the ball up front or for the assist, he was always there making sure that he was adding value, pushing up, Mm -hmm. and you cannot take anything away from them. Danger Kids still proving as to why they are one of the most formidable sides in this Amber Showdown tournament and are going through to the final where they will be going to be potentially facing their uh, sister team, the other OK uh, Online Kingdom side. Yeah, and uh, so they have done what they need to and uh, are looking pretty good to get themselves into the final. And it's, go- it's going to be a pretty exciting showdown if we manage to get both of the OK sides into into the same. This makes for an exciting bustle. <laughs> um, to see both both of them at you know have have at each other, but some good Rocket League was seen today, Penguin. Most and, definitely, uh, I'm sure we're going to see plenty more as the Amber Showdown continues. Yeah, Amber Showdown will be concluding on Monday evening, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Monday evening at half past eight, the final will be on. We do have it's either Danger Kids are going to be playing playing against OK Impulse or VXP Elementrix. So again, Elementrix has through the entire Amber Show and picked up 3-0 wins throughout the way. So again, a very formidable side. Definitely cannot count them out. OK Impulse picking up a 3-1 win in their first quarter final. Unfortunately, you know, Red Neptune had to pull out of the tournament so that Impulse did get an automatic go through to these semis. But they are currently playing against Elementrix. And let's hope that something amazing comes from that. And I'm honestly hoping that we actually see a OK uh, final. And I'm hoping that we will be able to cast that one as well. Well, we should hopefully be there to to bring you our... To bring you us and our and our girl, our saucy woman, uh, top post Tina, right post regime, and left post Lucy, uh, <laughs> to the world of Rocket League. I'm still waiting for this phrase to actually catch on in the international uh, scene with the uh, left post. One day, Penguin. Right? One day, let's. I th- our rate, we just need to get there and actually just do it ourselves. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Demonic, it's been a pleasure casting again. This has been the Amber Showdown brought to you by the Telcom Digital Gaming League. And we'll be seeing you guys next week, Monday, for the final of the Amber Showdown. Demonic, thanks very much. Hope you have a great evening further. Thanks to you.